authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Oh, uh, it's life hack time. Oh, get this, Angie. Not one, but two life hacks two today. Two for the price of one. One came yes. in from a viewer. This comes from the calendar. Okay. Now, are you looking to upgrade your home lighting? I just did. Did you? I just did. Okay. All right. We're going to find out if okay. Angie did what this life hack recommends. Using low energy lights, like LED lights, will not only lower your electric bill, they'll also be proven, they're also proven to be safer. So That's what they did. LED lights? That's what I they did. I will say this though, a buddy of mine uh, from high school, Jeff Lashbrook's got a big Christmas display uh, in Owensboro. And we're gonna go check out Christmas lights. We're gonna hop a party bus tomorrow night. Oh, what uh, fun! The family, all the fam, we're gonna get into the party bus, we're gonna go check out uh, basically the Christmas lights across Owensboro. You all Owensboro. have so much fun together. I'm sure we'll hit Jeff's house too. Jeff said his energy bill was cut two thirds. Oh, by, uh, by going, you know, from regular lights to uh, LED lights. Well, yeah. All right, now, we've got, this point set actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Based on the doesn't rest of them, yes. Yeah. Uh, our point set is looking pretty sad now, as expected. They are real point setters. Gerald Gray said there's a way that you can make these look better. They need potassium. In fact, I had a couple of viewers say they need potassium. How do you get potassium? He said soak a banana in warm water for an okay. hour, strain it, and then pour that on your uh, your uh, poinsettias. And they will get the potassium that they need because it soaks it up it's out of the It's too late for these. <laughs> I told you, I said, these guys might be done. I don't think, I, I don't I don't think, think I, potassium, I don't potassium is going to help. <laughs> Nothing's going to save these dudes now. Well, I mean, I guess that would work. Why not? Well, next year, now we know. Now we know. Thank you for <laughs> Bananas that. Bananas and warm water. Bananas, warm water, strain it, pour it in there. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> Mark that down. All right. Now, Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera, you've got yourself a look at the traffic on 66 and 69. Plenty of traffic on the Lodi Expressway, and I'm sure there's plenty of foot traffic in a lot of stores on the east side of town. A little bit of a breeze out there. You can see the flag getting pushed around a little bit. Well, that is some slow-moving northbound traffic. Let's hope that improves by the time we head home. <laughs> well, I guess we're stopped at that Ottoman light there, but it, it's not moving fast. It's, it's kind of lagging. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, that's our Strip and Henderson picture from the Heads Construction Tower Cam in the backyard. A lot of clouds in Central City from our Austin Homes camera. That's a shot there. And then, of course, downtown Evansville in all its glory. That's our Superior Rag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. 49 degrees right now at the airport. Southwest wind now has picked up a little bit at nine miles an hour. We've got a pretty good breeze out there today, but nothing like what we saw earlier in the week when we had that peak wind gust of 36. And even yesterday was breezier, but today, not bad. I mean, it's going to be mainly in the five to 10 mile per hour range from the south. As people uh, see, uh, can we do a little temperature run? 45 degrees as low as I see right now in French Lick. I don't think we can do a run. I don't see a 46 out there. Uh, so yeah, French Lick lagging way behind there. 47 Lagodi, 48 Jasper, 49 in Santa Claus. It is 47 degrees in Owensboro, 50 now in Madisonville. It's also 50 in Morganfield and 48 degrees right now in Carmine. What a beautiful sunrise it was. We had a lot of clouds out there, but I was saying, you know, if we get the brakes in the right spots, it might be good. It wasn't so good in Owensboro on our camera we saw there. We didn't see it so good in Evansville. Man, did it turn out good in Jasper, though. Uh, look at that sky right there. You got some of those cobblestones in the sky, those alto and cirrocumulus clouds out. Uh, but look at that. That's St. Joe Church and silhouetted up against that beautiful sky. That is an awesome shot. Richard Kunkel is the one that got that Jasper sunrise. I love it, Richard. Thank you so much for sending that picture my way. Live. First warning Doppler radar, nothing to show you here, and I'm not expecting rain today. I do expect to see some rain tomorrow, but it looks like it'll be later in the afternoon. And for some of us, not until tomorrow evening, or at least after the sun goes down. The sun is setting at 434. And of course, today is uh, the, the uh, winter uh, solstice, the shortest day of the year. And yeah, even though it's the shortest day of the year, we're not gonna be, I mean, Obviously, I mean, we're seeing a little bit more sunshine uh, later in the afternoon. So, I mean, but we're still losing time in the morning. But we're kind of plateauing right now. Still, the clouds are thickening up, so we're really not going to get much sunshine this afternoon. Unfortunately for Angel Mounds, because on the solstice, you're supposed to be able to see the sun setting right over this one mound. There's a little slot in it, and the sun will fit right in it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. They tried it yesterday, too cloudy yesterday. I definitely think it's going to be too cloudy today. Plenty of clouds out there across in the entire region. Really not a bad travel day, though. The sun won't get in your eyes, that's for sure. You can see the rain with this next system that's moving in our direction. It's going to kick up a few showers our way uh, tomorrow. Future Track is going to time it out for us. It's got a few breaks it shows popping up later on this afternoon. Maybe we'll get lucky at Angel Mounds around 430 and actually see uh, some breaks in the clouds and that sun right there over that mound. And as we work our way to the overnight hours, we are going to see more sunshine. The latest few runs on our future track really shows quite a bit of sunshine to start the day tomorrow. Of course, the sun isn't uh, rising until after 7 o'clock these days, but still at 6 o'clock, we've got a mainly clear sky out there, and we are going to see that uh, 
basically those clouds uh, depart as we, uh, or I should say the clearing depart as the clouds move in by midday and then plenty of cloud cover in the afternoon. And here comes that rain chance and we've got that chance out there uh, tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening, spotty showers. For the most part, this could be light rain, so it's not going to be a big factor whatsoever. Here's my forecast for today. The bigger rains are going to come on Christmas Day, unfortunately. Calling for a high today of 55 degrees with more clouds and sunshine. Mild, yes, with that south wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then on the 3 degree guarantee, called for a high yesterday of 51, got up to 53. That'll work. It works for Andrea Howard of Reed. Congratulations, Andrea. You've got yourself a sock cap courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station and pick it up. Uh, see Pam up front, but you got to wait until after Christmas Day because Pam is on vacation until through Christmas Day. Uh, 55 today, 55 tomorrow. Looking pretty good temperature-wise. Got a slight chance of rain late in the day tomorrow. A little bit better chance of rain on Saturday. Still pretty much a slight chance, though. And Sunday, the same deal. Look at the high on Christmas Eve. 62 degrees. Uh, not very Christmas-like, I know. And then windy and wet on Christmas Day, Monday, with a high of 59 degrees. So, wish we had better weather, but hopefully we're all inside and we don't have to battle the rain to get do? to where we need to go. Check this out. This is the same uh, Richard Kunkel sent the picture of the sunrise this morning in Jasper. Look at this. This is a hole punch cloud. Had that deck of clouds out there. Usually it's caused by an aircraft flying overhead. But it's like it's just a hole that's just been punched out of that cloud deck. That's an awesome shot there from Richard. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really? We'll be back. Don't go away.